Okay, this lesson is all about addition of integers. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about modeling of integers as well as the computation of integers as well. So you're going to need to get out your spiral notebook, a yellow crayon, and a red crayon. You're going to need those materials in order to do some pictures. Go ahead and grab those materials and then come on back. All right, great. In your spiral notebook, go ahead and write this title at the top of your page. And then also, go ahead and write down this vocabulary word. The additive inverse means when you add opposite together, you're going to get zero. So if you have a five, the opposite of five is negative five, and if you put those two together, you get zero. We're going to be talking about that term as we talk about modeling. All right, let's go ahead and get into that modeling. Now, how can we draw a picture to represent an integer? Here you have a yellow circle, and that yellow circle represents a negative number, and a red circle represents a positive number. So, for instance, if you were trying to draw a picture of negative 4, one way to do that would be to draw four yellow circles, because each one represents negative 1. So negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, you have negative 4. Four negative 1 circles, four yellow circles. All right, here's an example where you have a math problem that you can also draw a picture of. You've got negative 3 plus negative 4. So we've got three yellow circles to represent the negative 3, and then four yellow circles to represent the negative 4. We can do the same thing with positives as well. This is 3 plus 4. This 3 is positive, so we have three red circles to represent positive 3. And to represent positive 4, we have four red circles. So if you were trying to actually use these in order to solve a problem, if you had three yellow circles and you add four more yellow circles, how many yellow circles do you have left? Right. You have seven yellow circles, and those seven yellow circles re represent a negative seven. Okay? And now if you have three red circles and you add four more red circles, all together you have seven red circles, so therefore you have a positive seven. Easy enough, right? All right, so let's talk about zero pairs. You might also hear it called a neutral pair or an additive inverse. Anytime you have a negative number and a positive number, the opposites of each other, if you put them together, it equals zero. So let's think about that. If you owe me a dollar and then pay, you back, pay me back a dollar, aren't you free and clear at zero? If you go below one, one degree below zero, on the temperature scale, and then the temperature goes up a degree, aren't you then at zero? Think about a number line. If you're at negative two, and then you go up two, aren't you at zero? Zero pairs, or additive inverse, is when you take the opposite of a number and add it together, and that will always give you zero. So here's an example down here. Go ahead and draw this picture, and you've got some yellow ones and some red ones, and then see if you can find all the zero pairs. Go ahead and circle them and group them together. Let's see, did you group these together? That would equal zero, a negative one and a positive one. That's a zero pair. We're using the additive inverse here. A red circle and a yellow circle add together to make zero. We can do these, we can do these. So what's left? After we take all the zero pairs out, what will be left with? But one yellow circle. Mitchell. Okay, now let's go ahead and use those models in terms of add addition. We have 3 plus a negative 4. 3 plus negative 4. All right, jot down that example down, and we're going to draw a picture for it. I started our picture here, but I haven't done any coloring yet. We've got 3 plus negative 4. This 3 is a positive 3. So do you remember what color we need for positive 3? Right, we need red. So three of these circles are going to be colored red. Here is our three. That's the first number in our addition problem. And then we also have a negative four. Negatives are yellow. So we have four negative values. So we're going to do four circles here. All right. Now, 
once you have your picture drawn, you're going to go ahead and find all the zero pairs you can find. So you're going to match up as many red and yellow circles as you can, grouping them together. And then finally, you're going to see what's left. Mitchell, come here, please. All right, so let's group all those zero pairs. We've got a red and a yellow here, here, and here. So what's left? We have one yellow circle left. One yellow circle. So what does that yellow circle represent? Exactly, it represents a negative one. A negative one. So our answer to three plus negative four is negative one. After we take all of our zero pairs out, we only have one yellow circle left. Go ahead and try these two examples. Pause the video, draw pictures for them, use your color, your crayons, your colored pencils, whatever it is that you have. Draw a picture for each one, find out all the zero pairs, and see what's left. Go ahead and you try. Awesome. All right, so four plus negative six. Here we have four plus negative six. All right. So we have the positive four, so we've got four red circles, and we've got six negative circles. All right, we're going to find all of our zero pairs. You can either circle them or cross them out, doesn't matter. Find all your zero pairs, and what is left is your final answer. We have two yellow circles left, and each yellow circle represents a negative one. So our answer is negative two. All right, and the other one, we've got negative five. Okay, and we've got a positive two. And now we're going to find all the zero pairs we can, try to match up as many as possible. These match and these match, and see what's left. We have three yellow circles left, so our final answer is negative three. All right, let's do the reverse. And now let's look at, okay, what happens if I have a picture? Can you write the math problem to go with it? I think you can. What do we have here first to start with? On the top half, we have negative four. We've got four yellow circles. And then on the bottom half, we have six red circles. And a six red circles would be a positive six. So what happens if we add those together? Well, first we have to find all of our zero pairs. And what do we have left? One red circle, so our answer is positive one. Go ahead and try these on your own, and then come on back and we'll go over the answers. All right, let's take a look at this one. We have four yellow circles, and what does the yellow represent? Negative four. Okay, we have one red circle, and that represents a positive one if we add them together. Well, let's see. Let's find all of our zero pairs, and let's see what's left. We have three yellow circles left. So three yellow circles would be negative three. All right, take a look at the next example. We have three yellow circles three red circles. Let's find all of our zero pairs. And then what's left? Nothing. Remember, this is the additive inverse. If you have opposites and you're adding them together, you will always get zero. All right. Not only can you use models to add integers, but you can also use a number line. Go ahead and copy down this information here. Here are the steps on how you can use the number line to add and subtract, in, I'm sorry, add integers. And then we'll do some examples together. So pause the video and then we'll continue on with those examples. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at this example. We've got one plus negative five. One is the first number we're starting with. So take your finger and place it on the one. Okay, from there, look at the second number. If the second number is negative, you're going to move to the left, where all the negative numbers are. If the next number is positive, we're going to move to the right, where all the positive numbers are. So here we are at 1. We're going to move to the left five spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Your final answer is negative 4. All right, the next one, negative 2 plus 4. So start by putting your finger on negative 2. Now the second number is positive, so which way are we going to move? Right, towards the positive numbers, to the right. Let's move to the right, four spaces. What's your final answer? Two. Go ahead and try these other two examples, and then we'll go over them together. Never mind. All right, so let's go over the answer to this. We're going to start at the zero. And now we're moving which way? Towards the negative numbers. Very good. And in which way, how many steps are we going to move? Five spaces. Good. We're moving towards the negatives. Five spaces. So if you're at zero and you go five spaces, where do you land? Negative five. Good. All right. Let's try this last example. We're going to start here at the negative two. We're going to move towards the negatives, six spaces. Towards the negatives, six spaces. Which way are the negatives? On the left. So let's move six spaces to the left. Now we ran out of number line. Does that mean that the number line stopped? Absolutely not. That number line goes on forever and ever and ever. So you can either imagine or go ahead and draw your number line and make it a little bit bigger. Where do you land if you're starting here and you're going six spaces that way? Where might you land? Or if you extended your line, what happened? Negative 8. You can use the number line in most any circumstance, although when you have very large numbers, it does get to be a little bit time consuming. You don't want to have a number line that gets to be such big numbers. You can use a song to help you remember the steps. There are certain rules that you can um, use instead of using a number line. And the song is same signs, add and keep, different signs, subtract. Take the sign of the higher number, then you'll be exact. So here's how you would handle that. Looking at these, this first problem here, the signs are different. Different signs. So what do we do with the numbers? We subtract. So you're going to take the 7 and the 6 and subtract them, and what do you get? Now let's take the sign of the higher number, and then we are exact. So our answer is negative 1. So we subtract the 7 and the 6. And then you take the sign of whatever number is bigger. 7 was bigger than 6, so we, the sign is negative. It's a negative 1. All right, let's look at this one. The signs are different, so what do we do? Well, let's look at the, the song here. Different signs, so what do we do? Subtract. So let's subtract the numbers. 12 minus 8 is 4. We're going to take the sign of the higher number. Which number is higher? And what sign is in front of the 12? It has no sign, but remember, if there's no sign, it means positive. So this is a positive 4. All right, let's try the next one. Negative 9 plus negative 6. Well, these signs are the same. So let's look at our song here. Same signs. What do we do? Same signs, add and keep. We have to add the numbers. 9 plus 6 is 15. And this keep, what that means is keep the sign. Whatever sign the other two numbers have, the answer will have the same one. So if we've got negative 9 and negative 6, our answer is also going to be negative. So really what you want to pay attention to is whether or not the signs are the same or different, and then use the song to help you figure out what to do with them. Negative 10, negative 23, what do you think you do with the numbers? Good, you add them, 10 plus 23, and you keep the sign. There you go. This next one, 6, 18, and 4 all have the same sign. So they're all the same sign. We're going to add them together. 6 plus 18 plus 4, that is going to be 10, 28. And all of them are negative, so my answer is negative. All right, this last example here, A plus B. The A is negative 6. The B is negative 19. Same signs, add and keep. All right, let's go ahead and add them and keep the sign. 
All right. Go ahead and pause the video, try all these examples on your own, and then come on back and we'll go over the answers. Okay, great. Let's see. Absolute value of negative 6 is 6. Good. Absolute value of 3 is 3. What is 6 plus 3? 9. All right. Absolute value of negative 20. All right. Now here we have a situation where we've got the signs are different. You can have to use a number line, you can draw some pictures, or you can remember the song to help you solve this one. I like the song myself. The signs are different. Same signs add and keep, but they're not the same. We're doing different signs. Subtract. So we're going to do 20 minus 6. Take the sign of the higher number, then you'll be exact. The higher number is 20, and that's positive, so my answer is positive 14. All right, this one's a little bit different. Did you get stuck on this one? The first thing you have to do is the absolute value. Absolute value of negative 10 is 10. All right, so let's put all this together. Remember our order of operations? We want to do a little bit at a time. Let's just start with that part. Negative 2 plus 10. Well, the signs are different, so we want to subtract the numbers. Take the sign of the higher number. Then we are exact. Okay, now we have another part to do. The signs are different. T subtract. Take the sign of the higher number. Then we are exact. All right, and this last set of examples here, this kind of goes through the video and all the different stuff that we... Um, Covered using a model, hopefully you did, six circles and color them yellow, and then four red circles, I've got the wrong marker here, don't I? And then find your zero pairs and see what's left. We have two yellow circles left, so your answer should be negative two. All right, for number two, did you write the right math problem? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six yellows plus three reds. If we find all of our zero pairs, what's left? Three yellows, or negative three. Okay? Um, how about this one? You can use either the song or the number line. You should have gotten negative one, negative 88, negative 15. And this last one, you had to substitute in first. So you're going to put the negative three in here. All right, absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So here's the math problem we're solving. Different signs, so you subtract and take the sign of the higher number. We're going to subtract. The higher number is negative, so our answer is negative 12. If you missed any of these examples, go ahead and rewind the video. Or if you missed the absolute value section, go back and watch the other video. And then see if you can figure out what you missed. And then come back to class and ask specific questions if you still need them. See you soon.